Hello, welcome to my education video series episode one. Today I am talking about what it is exactly that interior designers do. A few years ago, someone asked my sister this exact question, what is it exactly that your sister does? And she said, and I quote, she doesn't fluff pillows, she moves stairwells. And while that is mostly true, I do also fluff pillows. So what is it exactly that us interior designers do? Well, we do everything from a little bit of interior architecture, a lot of floor plans, a lot of lighting and electrical plans, a lot of finishes selections, including tile, hardwood, cabinets, counters, plumbing, decorative lighting, and also all of the decorative components of soft furnishing, such as area rugs, carpets, chairs, window coverings, you name it. So how do we compare to our colleagues who are architects or decorators? Let's talk about architects first. So the architect really does the buildings very well. So what they will do is not only design the structure, they will look at the overall style of the building. They also look at key elements in terms of residential, obviously, of how that fits into the landscape, considering sun angles, views, um, land elevations, all of that fun stuff. And here's where interior designers like to encroach on an architect's scope of work, me included. I like to pick the exterior finishes of a house. I like for a client to move into a home, new builds in particular, where the exterior finishes are cohesive with the interior. We have been known, myself included, in moving windows around to suit our layout, changing their size opening where allowed by code, and yes, my sister was right, moving stairwells too. Here is where interior designers do not often overlap with architects. Rarely are we worried about setback restrictions, height limits, and percentage of livable space compared to the overall lot size. Usually that falls in the architect's scope of work. All right, let's talk about decorators. So decorators deal with soft furnishings, so decorative items. Sofas, chairs, area rugs, window treatments, that kind of thing. When they do get into renovation, generally speaking, they're not changing a lot of the layout. They will still do a kitchen redesign, uh, or I should say renovation, and same with a bathroom, but they're not really taking down walls, they're not really changing a whole lot. It's usually refinishing, resurfacing. So here's where designers like to overlap decorators. We pretty much like to do their job too. So we like to have our vision for the home and it really is all encompassing. We like to have the exterior finishes, textures, style, color scheme work with the interior and not just the hard finishes, the soft finishes too. So let's recap. Architects are doing the building compared to the lot. They're doing the overall style, view, height, size. The interior designer likes to take over from there, do a little bit of the exterior finishings, do a lot of the interior finishings, and the overall styling and soft furnishings for the space. And the decorator really loves to do the decorating, taking an existing space and updating it, giving it a fresh look, a new vibe. Unlike decorators, and much like architects, interior designers not only go to school for interior design, they do a internship program which combines seven years of schooling and work experience to make them eligible to write a series of examinations. These examinations are based on current building code and design standards and are required for anyone to use the title interior designer on their business card or in their business name. Architects go through this as well, combine seven years of schooling and work experience to make them eligible to write their architecture exams, become a member of the OAA, um, Ontario Association of Architects, and get their stamp to approve drawings for permit. Decorators also have to go through schooling to be able to call themselves a decorator, and that is usually a minimum six-month program, at which time they send their certificate of completion into the DDA, which is the Decorators and Designers Association of Canada, for review and approval to be a member. I hope that gives you a brief description of each of these three categories of people who do residential construction and build. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week for episode two where we'll be talking about how to figure out who is right for your project and where to go to find those people.